Hi you guys. I'm going to give you a little tour today of the kids crafting and playroom which at first glance might look like a bit of a gong show but there is actually some reason to this madness I guess or order to this chaos. So I had written a blog post this week and I was featured on another blog so I'll link to that post in the description below and you know it's Saturday morning right now I'm still in my pajamas so I'm not coming on camera but in the blog post I mentioned that we have used found items around our house or inexpensive items to create this space for our kids and so these pegboards were just hanging around my dad's storage room and we got some trim and framed them up and they were part of my craft show booth but now they're part of the playroom We've mounted them on the wall just with some blocks of wood in behind to uh, secure them to the drywall because this drywall has metal studs behind it. So we just needed a little something extra. My husband put this trim on for me and I painted it with chalk paint and it's a little beat up from going to craft shows. But now we have all the little um, marble run toys in these bins. These bins used to be on um, shelves, like this was the little Walmart toy storage unit, but the basement flooded a little bit and it started growing black mold on the wood. So now we have these things up off the floor. And uh, this is just a rough space. You can see the drywall is not finished or anything. You don't have to have a perfect space for your kids to play because they're probably gonna do some damage to it anyway. But here's the part that was in the article, which is um, the kids' crafting supplies. So we have a little bouquet of pipe cleaner here in a little bucket from Ikea, and it's just hanging on a hook. This is a little kids' crafting apron. They can put scissors and stuff in their pockets to keep their hands free. I used to sell these, but they didn't sell too well. So. But if anybody wanted me to make one, I could look at bringing them back to the shop. Um, then down here we have, these are just little plastic buckets from the dollar store. And they've got the little pom-pom um, balls in them, glitter and regular. And then we have googly eyes and uh, scrapbooking scissors. And then the big bucket at the bottom has all the puppets. And then over here we have more, but these are finger puppets and they've got a little background set here to create the background for your finger puppet play. There's a clipboard with paper for the kids. These are bean bags. And then up here is some of the, the kitchen stuff that's kind of like overflow. This is a little coloring book bag. This was another thing that I had in the shop before. So it's got a little mesh pocket for crayons and stickers and then the coloring book is inside. So that's all there where the kids can see it. It's colorful, it's fun, it's inviting. So they will hopefully be inspired to use their craft supplies. And then there's an Ikea chalkboard over here it spins around it spins around so that um, you can have a whiteboard on the back there's a whiteboard on the back side and then this is all their painting shirts a little painting apron hanging on the other side so when you put the ikea paper roll through then they can use it as a painting easel and now we're going to head past all the toys over to here where we have got clear see-through bins and um, they're full of pencil crayons, markers, crayons, so the kids can get at these. This, we have so many crayons. They always come back from school at the end of the school year and after, our son is 15, so 15 years of crayons coming home. These are the costumes in milk crates. Um, at my husband's work, they get a lot of milk crates and they can't return them. The milk company won't take them back from their work, so they get thrown in the garbage. So my husband tries to rescue them sometimes, brings them home to make storage units for us. 
This is another found item. This was something rescued from my, my grandmother's house when everybody was moving out of there. So in here we've got a shelf full of yarn. We've got all the loom band bracelet looms, little crafting books, little craft idea books, and then there's a glue gun for my older daughter and all the beads for making bracelets. And then in the drawers below, there's more little kids craft books. And we've got more milk crates with, with yarn. And all the perler beads are in that one down at the bottom. So you can see that you don't need to have all the fancy stuff to make a little crafting and play space for your kids. Just use stuff that you find or repurpose stuff that you already have. These little foam mats are from Canadian Tire and they help keep the concrete floor warm. So I hope that gives you some ideas for inexpensive ways to set up an inviting space for your kids to actually see all the stuff they have and get inspired to use it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos from Daydreams of Quilts.